Hi friends, and thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the channel. In this demo, I'll show you how to set up your slides so that they transition or advance automatically after a certain number of seconds or minutes or what have you. So I have a few slides here of a timeline and in a shameless plug, link above for a timeline example video if you're interested. But what you want to do to get these to automatically advance based on a time is come up to transitions. And then over here on the right, by default, you probably have on mouse click selected. And that's how the slides are going to advance when you click the mouse. But if you want them to advance automatically after a certain amount of time, you want to select this after and then we'll just bump this up to say five seconds. You can also advance on mouse click. So if you have both of these selected, it means that it'll advance automatically in five seconds. But if you want it to go faster, you can still click that mouse. I'll deselect that just so I don't accidentally click something while I'm recording here. But that's what you want to do. Now, if you play this in slideshow mode, I'll do that down here. And you wait and you wait and you wait. We've definitely waited five seconds here and nothing's happening. So what's going on here? It seems like you selected all of the correct options. I'll come out of presentation mode here. The gotcha here is that you need to come up to slideshow up on your ribbon and tell PowerPoint that when you're in the slideshow mode, you want to use timings. So select this checkbox right here. And now if we go back into slideshow mode and we wait five seconds or so, one, two, three, four, five, there you see it transitioned all by itself. I didn't click anything. Now we only did it on that one slide. So the subsequent slides are not going to transition. So I'll escape out of here again. If you wanted all of the slides to have the same transition, so coming back to this one here and transitions, there's a button here to apply to all. If you hover over that, you'll see that it applies the current slides transition, the effects and the timing to all of the slides in the presentation. So just be aware if some of your slides, for example, this one is using a push transition, maybe the next one was using a split or something like that. If you apply all, it's going to apply that transition, any effects and the timing to everything in the presentation. So just a heads up there. Most of the times you probably have the same transitions or no transition at all, and you just want to apply the timing. So that would be fine to say apply to all. And now if we look at these other slides here, you'll see they're all transitioning after five seconds as well. So if we start back here in presentation mode, I should be able to just sit back and let this thing run for five seconds, another five seconds, and then another five seconds. So this can be really nice if maybe you're running a conference or a class and during a lunch break, perhaps you want to toggle through and just rotate pictures one every minute or something like that. That's an easy way to do it. So that's it. That's how to set up timing for your slide transitions. If you found it helpful, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button and also think about subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.